Hi everyone! Today we are returning to the print design and learn how to clean multicolor print in the fastest way. So let's start our lesson number 12. Let's clean this multicolor abstract print. As we know, we always are limited with 12 colors. After reduction colors, we come up with 9 exact colors. So technically, it's ready to be sent to the factory. But do we really want our dress look like this? I doubt. So the process we're going to start is known as cleaning process. There are a lot of methods for better cleaning. I'll show you mine, which I call eating up pixels. Select any color, go to select modify, you see smooth, expand and contract. They are my favorite options. And believe it or not, using them one by one, I can clean any print. First, be sure you are cleaning entire repeat. After that, you always can create any size of print out of cleaned repeat. Because we choose already this dark brown color, let's start with it. Pay attention, I've selected twist contiguous unchecked, so all brown print elements are selected. Zoom in, go to select, modify, expand, choose one. We can see all light brown unwanted pixels are eaten up with dark brown area. Now we want to return brown area to its original edges. Go select, modify, contract. Again choose one. We see the brown circle went back to its original shape, but all pixels inside are disappeared. Choose brown color and fill selected area. If we zoom out, we can see all brown areas become clean and solid. Let's do the same with cream area. Select cream color, select, modify, expand, choose one. Then select modify contract, choose one. Let's do the same with light green, tan, bright green and all other colors one by one. Of course, we still have some imperfect areas, but we can adjust them manually. Technically, Print already looks much better. But let's try a little more complicated way to achieve a better result. If you zoom in, you see brown lines in between beige and dark green, and dark green and tan. For sure they are not supposed to be here. Select dark brown area again. Now go to select, modify, contract, and choose three or four. What happened? We have large brown area selected, precisely partially selected, and small area not selected at all. Go to select, grow, all large area are completely selected. Then without the selecting, go to select, inverse. Now we have selected everything but large dark brown areas. But we are concentrating on these small brown areas definitely unwanted. Choose any bright color and fill them with paint bucket, contiguous unchecked, tolerance zero, anti-aliased all. How can we fill these purple areas? The main task. They have to disappear somehow anyway. My idea. Fill purple lines in the color of their neighbors. So I'd like to fill these two purple lines in dark green color and lose them as a result. Select dark green color. Go to select, modify, expand, choose one. Then go to select, color range, fuzziness zero. 
Choose bright purple color. Then go to select Grow. Now we selected purple line, but only those next to dark green. With paint bucket, fill it with dark green. See, purple lines next to dark green have disappeared. Where else do we have purple? Uh, here, next to light brown. Do the same. Select light brown. Go to Select, Modify, Expand, choose one. Select color range, bright purple color. Select Grow, fill it with light brown. Much better. If you found purple somewhere else, do the same to fill it with its neighbor color. We can continue to clean the entire print with this method. Just remember, cleaning is a very creative process. There are no certain steps like in previous lessons. You'll have to use your judgment where you stop eating up pixels and continue to achieve the final perfection using the manual adjustment. Another trick. You can find perfect balance between timing and quality by choosing selecting with contiguous off and on. In the first method, we adjust the entire area with the same colors. But with the contiguous on, we can adjust each area separately. Let's see what we can do in this case. Let's clean this purple area. This thin corner is very delicate. Expand contract method may destroy very thin details. Let's go select, modify, smooth. See, we've eliminated inside straight pixels. When we fill it with purple, we have clean and nice purple area. So going to color by color, we can clean area by area. With contiguous off, we clean all area with similar colors, which is faster, but less accurate. With contiguous on, we can achieve better result for each separate area, but we may need more time. Which method is better? It's your own decision, but I'll recommend combining both depends on how dirty each area or each color looks like. Please remember, there are no uniform method to be applied to the entire print to make it clean in one click. Even after all manipulation, most likely you will need to adjust some small area manually. But if you follow all eating up steps correctly, the final adjustment won't take a great time. And as an artist, you may even have some fun with it. So now we know how to clean prints and eliminate unwanted pixels. The next topic I've chosen, again based on my subscribers' request. So we will talk about embroidery, eyelid, and jacquard. If you like to suggest your own topic, don't hesitate, let me know. 
Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't, and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.